Security Council will now begin its conclusion. I have strongly advised the Israeli authorities, while addressing their security concerns, to find a way to further ease the constraints that restrict the Palestinian life and risk undermining the eventual viability of a Palestinian state. The Israeli government also raised another regional matter, the Iranian nuclear issue. I share and appreciate Israel's concerns. I noted that there is an international consensus to address this question and the crucial diplomatic process underway. I emphasize the need to approach the matter in this context. I'm aware of the latest news concerning yet another 20 uh, dwellings to be constructed in East Jerusalem, uh, this time in the heart of an Arab uh, neighborhood. I say again here that what I have uh, been repeatedly saying uh, that settlements are illegal under international law, and this must stop. There is no alternative to negotiations for a two-state solution. As the Quartet stressed, proximity talks should move ahead, evolving into direct negotiations uh, between the direct parties as soon as possible. The goal uh, should be to resolve all final uh, status issues within 24 months. The list is long and time is uh, very short. Israelis and Palestinians should do much more to build trust and meet their obligations on the international law and roadmap. Thank you. You know, on the Iranian nuclear issue, China is firmly committed to nuclear non-proliferation regime. We think it's very important to maintain stability and peace in the Middle East. Appropriate solutions should be found through peace talks and negotiations.